Hey cuties and welcome back to another CC haul. Today I have around 100 new build CC items for you as always. You can find links to everything in the description down below and I'll also make sure to link you to my playlist of previous build CC videos so you can check out more CC over there if you're still in need after today's video. But without further ado let's get straight into this. I hope you are all doing well. I think I'm coming down with something. I feel a little a bit like mm, not so great so I feel like I don't sound as energetic as I usually do I tried to record this intro like a million times and I just couldn't <laughs> no I feel like I just sound very tired so bear with me I am I, I don't know if I am necessarily tired I'm just not as high energy as I often seem or talk hold on does that make sense <laughs> You know what I mean. I just don't think I sound as upbeat as I usually am, but I'm fine. So it's just, yeah, it's just my nose is a bit blocked. I feel like I have had a headache for a few days. So it's weird because when my boyfriend was here to visit me, I feel like for the whole 10 days almost that he was here, I felt like I was coming down with something like over my birthday. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get sick over my birthday. I didn't, but I always have like a bit of an underlying thing going on and I do not know why it's not breaking out, but... <laughs> I definitely do have a blocked nose today so maybe you'll be able to tell I'm sorry if you can I think a lot of times my mic doesn't properly pick it up which is good <laughs> that's a good thing um, but yeah bear with me if I need to take a few heavier breaths today <laughs> that would be why um, other than that I am doing okay my cats have been to the vets a few days ago and my god they need to take some medication it's nothing bad but they need to take some medications like for a few days I think it's 15 days in total and then there's two breaks in between the five days and oh my god is it a nightmare to give them those pills <laughs> i did not anticipate it because i a few years ago my last cat that i owned he was very old and had like a kidney disease so he had to get medication every single day and it was always a nightmare to give him that medication and then whilst i started fostering i had to give like multiple different cats all sorts of medication and I kind of just looked into the topic more and was like how do I best do this and then I found that it's usually the easiest to just hold your cat by the neck like when they're eating or something and then just put the pill like right at the back of their throat so they don't even really taste it because then they just have to swallow it um, but with these two cats for some reason it's not working that well <laughs> like especially the little one she just seems to always be able to push it back out of the side of her mouth it's so weird um, she luckily got all of it today already he is like halfway there <laughs> because the pills are quite big as well so I have to like split them up a little bit and he is also very strong so it's very easy to hold him in place and he I don't know they get very suspicious like I started doing it during feeding times and then they just always avoided me like whenever I came near them during feeding times they were like mm -mm, I'm not trusting you anymore so I started kind of doing it when they were just like chilling in bed and I just quickly did it but it seems to be very difficult like I remember with the cats before that I had to do it with it was so easy I would just like wrap them in a blanket real quick put it in their mouth and it was done within like less than half a minute but with these two it is so difficult <laughs> And I'm not happy about it because these are my forever cats. I'm keeping them and I that will probably not be the last time I ever have to give them medication. And it's a bit annoying because my bigger one, Maui, he is not super focused on food. Like he likes food, he eats his food, he eats his treats, but he's not like super crazy about them like she is. So I think I might be able to mix it into her food, but then I think it's just easier to give it to them because I don't want them to get suspicious of their food containing things they don't want to eat. Also, why is it that medication for cats or animals in general always has to taste bad? Like, can't we at least make it taste okay? Because it was so funny like she eats anything it is actually so 
bad because if you leave any food out, even non-edible food like raw potatoes, she will start chewing on it and most things are like toxic to cats. So it's a bit of a mess and <laughs> you always have to put all of the food away. Luckily, she doesn't seem to go near fruits, which is good because I always leave my fruits out and for some reason fruits and onions she seems to leave alone. So. <laughs> I'm happy about that but everything else she would just chew on um, but I knew that she was gonna eat the pill at least the first day and she did like I just put it down and she like gobbled it down and then was really confused about it because <laughs> it's like a powdery one so it like breaks up into powder and she was like very grossed out by it so the next day she learned and didn't eat it again which I was surprised about to be honest because she usually does not learn from her mistakes <laughs> She like does the same thing over and over and over again usually so I was surprised that she didn't eat it the second time I gave it to her um, but yeah I'm glad because after these first five days they're over today they get five days of a break and I'm very happy about it because I feel like both of the cats are very sussed out by me now like anytime I go near them they kind of look at me like um <laughs> this lady gonna force us to swallow these pills again or is she just gonna stroke me which is heartbreaking like I hate doing that to the cats I wish you could communicate with the cats in a better way to be like this will help you it'll make you feel better I just put it on the back of your tongue just swallow it you won't taste it it's fine but obviously they just freak out they're like what the heck is going on and then it didn't help that I have to take them to the vets a few days ago so they're still I feel like a bit freaked out from that I am freaked out from that as well I got like a big scratch on my arm from one of them because he oh my god I like wrapped him in towels and he like tore through the towel with his back foot <laughs> so the claw on his back foot and it was really bad luckily my boyfriend was he's like so much more responsible with little scratches and cuts than me he was like no we're gonna clean this up now and like wrap bandages around it I would have probably just put a band-aid on it and hope for the best <laughs> and he was like you might have to get stitches for it and I was freaking out because I hate doctors I can't do it but anyways it's all fine now it healed <laughs> but probably also thanks to him uh, because he was taking care of it very well <laughs> but anyways this video is coming to an end real soon here. I hope you enjoyed all of the CC. I didn't really talk about it, but I thought a lot of these packs were so gorgeous. So I hope you liked them as well. And if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.